what's up ninja knight here make sure you like share subscribe hit the notification bell up above for future uploads and check out the links posted in the description down below to support the channel thank you so here i have a post from mcfarland toys official on instagram and they say collect all four of the blackest knight build the figures so that's green lantern coil rainer that is black lantern batman black lantern superman and black lantern Deathstorm, and assemble your very own atrocitus todd mcfarland has absolutely crushed it with this wave this is a wave that is 100% bought and i cannot wait to build atrocitus atrocitus is one of my favorite dc characters i love the red lantern core and a big shout out to ethan van skyver ethan van skyver is probably going to be more delighted about this character than i am i don't even know if that's possible because i love this character but in saying that ethan van skyver has cyber frog at the moment whom he's making action figures of and i'm sure that that's going to be something that's a lot more important to him but i'm sure atrocitus will hold a special place in his heart now when you're looking at this figure i think this lends itself very well to todd mcfarland's work which is he does very well with monstrous looking characters he does very well with villainous looking characters and i think he's crushed the hair with atrocitus i love the head sculpt i love the shoulder pads and the raised neck collar and then i love the way the gauntlets are done with sort of clawed hands also i will say one thing i would love to see mcfarland do pinless technology i think he's well capable of doing it and i think it would give an even better look to the figure than what we're seeing right here i think it looks fantastic but i do think now with pinless technology being used by some different companies i think it needs to be used here and it'll make them look even better particularly with that seven inch scale you're already getting more bang for your buck in my opinion with a seven inch scale figure at the price it's at than a six inch figure now rising to 30 plus euros at this stage i will say this i know that i'm asking for an awful lot when it comes to this figure i would love to see it out on the head probably it's going to be the gold label one though i'd say where it has the red rage coming out of his mouth i would have loved to see an alternate head of that but i am very happy don't get me wrong with this head here where there's no red rage coming out of his mouth but that leads me on to the next thing i would love to see this character come with a construct now it's possible that he could release the buff later on and buff is short for build a figure later on down the road with constructs we've seen that before with some of the different characters that he has out there for example dawn breaker that came with green lantern and hal jordan we've seen that that came with a base then so kind of an extra construct between the two so we could end up doing that with atrocitus at some stage i think it would be great if it came with a construct or if it came then with the added sort of comment of hey we're going to be doing an accessory pack with green lantern constructs that we can't quite put out due to the mandate from warner brothers about now guns etc we're going to put these out and we're going to not say that they're dc probably but they'll link in kind of like what todd was saying beforehand about the guns but certainly with the constructs i think it'd be a good idea i do also hope as well that it's going to come with alternate hands so i would love to see a fisted hand here also i always envisage characters it's great when they're able to do things with splayed hands kind of half closed hands whatever it might be but i find it difficult sometimes when a character that's used to punching things doesn't have two fists i think that that's really important personally myself so i would love to see if that's if this includes another fist i think that that would look amazing but i have to say it's an absolute home run i know i'm being somewhat critical on this figure and i think that that's what you need to be to get you know even better figures in the in the future which todd is 100 percent listening to fans now about that i've certainly noticed that over the last couple of waves that he is starting to implement changes that fans have asked for i think that that's really important and i think that that is a good sign then that these are going to continue at this point in time i think he's giving you a good value for money and i hope that the license is going to go past the three year mark because i think we're into year three now so this is the last year that he prospectively has it so i do hope that that happens but that's how things like that can happen pinless technology hopefully now the legs are not too sort of limited with this as i call it a nappy americans would call it a diaper that's in there a lot of people want to see that trimmed a lot more so there's more articulation on the legs but i will say this that looks a lot better in my view than what the current hips are for the likes of a marvel legends figure it looks weird now that i see sort of this kind of costume all over it. it looks a lot better in my view but i do think that this is an absolute home run it's a brilliant wave i hope that there's going to be more waves from blackest night because i would love say even over the course of two waves to build necron so i remember even years ago marvel legends through toy biz did a build a figure of 
they well they did multiples of them they did multiple different build the figures like the likes of the sentinel like the likes of apocalypse like the likes of giant man for example there's three large characters i think it would be great if mcfarland then said okay collecting eight figures you can build necron because necron is supposed to be a gigantic character so i think that that might be the way he might go with it and i think maybe that's why you're seeing a lot of the bigger figures like for example titan joker and clayface i think they might be trying to figure out how to do that how to do a bigger scale for it to hold together and i think that that's a good idea taking small steps before you do a big one but to me another way it has to come out particularly more lanterns i want to see the sinestro core i want to see larflays i want to see the blue lantern core i want to see all of them at this stage because i think that these are going to be bought up by people particularly because of how different that looks and that's going to pop on a shelf absolutely I can't say enough how excited I am for this wave, and in particular, the fact that Atrocitus is the build figure I'm really hoping that the QC is good for this character and good for this build figure because we do know them when you have the likes of the Dark Father, the QC was okay. We do know them, for example, with the likes of the Bane build figure that that wasn't great at all. We know there was QC issues with the likes of Steppenwolf and Darkseid from the Justice League movies, Zack Snyder Justice League. So I do hope that that's ironed out, and I have to be honest with you, Given what I've seen from the Frost King wave, it seems like he's ironed out a lot of the problems with the build figures, and this looks absolutely wonderful. I think it's probably going to be in and around 9 or 10 inches, maybe, because he is supposed to be a big character. If he's any bigger than that, I'd be really surprised. But I'm looking forward to the images now of Atrocitus with the wave to see how big he is, and if, indeed, he comes with a construct. And again, that's a whole wave that could come prospectively with constructs because they're all lanterns. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what he does now tomorrow. And I'll be highlighting that again tomorrow as to what's included with these figures when he does fully reveal them. But man, am I excited for Atrocitus. This looks absolutely excellent. Hyped. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video there. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell up above for future uploads. Check out the links posted in the description down below to support the channel. Let Ethan Van Skyver know that I'm after doing a video on this and to let him know that Atrocitus is out there now and is going to be made by McFarlane. I'm sure he's going to be pumped about it can't imagine how happy he is seeing something like this because to me if it was me after creating a character like this and i was created cyber frog as i said i'd be delighted with that talk to you later good luck due to the limiting of the truth on this platform make sure you're following me over here on odyssey and on rumble thank you make sure you're following me over here on gab at ninja underscore night and over here on getter at the underscore ninja night